All right, guys, welcome back to our channel. You're not going to see us in masks often, so the fact that we're in them, means I wanted we're going to. Somewhere. <laughs> means we're going somewhere. I, I, this is the line of my stand. I will wear it at the airport, only because it's by force, not by choice. But uh, we're excited. We're about to head to Mexico City for a few nights, one night, and then we're going to Oaxaca to see Day of the Dead. Is that the original city? Is um, that where we're going to? The, the it's, main? One of, it's one of the most traditional in, in, in Mexico. Awesome. So we're excited guys, we're about to get in this flight. We're taking separate flights there. Maybe I'll vlog by myself, but we, we got some time together. If they have white claws, I'm totally in. And uh, Adam, I just want to say, good job this week. We hassled seven interviews in the span of five days. I'm so proud of you. We got a lot of work I'm done. I'm proud of you. This, we, we have a well-deserved vacation now. That's right, and as always guys, let's go Brandon. All right, we made it guys. We are here in Mexico City. What's the name of this area? Zocalo. All right, very cool. We're in Zocalo, which Tara says is like the Times Square of Mexico City. From so, the perspective of everybody gathers here, this is, this is the area of celebration. So this area is the former Tenochtitlan, which Tenochtitlan is the Aztec, the Aztec um, Empire was based here, where you can think of like the traditional pyramids. So we're gonna go check out the building, guys. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty busy out here in Mexico City. A lot of people dressed up. They love their Halloween in Mexico. Today's uh, because tomorrow's, uh, Night of the Witches. Oh, tonight, yeah, today's Night of the Witches. Uh, Noche de Brujas. And tomorrow's Day of the Dead. So good times out here in Mexico City. I don't even know what that is. But obviously, it's very popular. Look at this line. La Cuenta. 35. 35. 35. 35. Like two US dollars to get this big bag. And this behind me is what you guys would call a super spreader. Tons of people here. A lot of people in Mexico City do wear masks though, but uh, yeah, we're not. No way. We're done with that. We're good. Wow, look at that. La Cuenta. 35. 35. Muy rico? Sí. Muy rico. Let's go. Brandon has gone international, bringing it out to Mexico. Secretary Jen Psaki. Is that that's Jen Psaki? Oh, that's Jen Psaki. You're here, the U.S. press secretary. Wow. Hi, they really love Jen Psaki out here in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I ruined a moment. Oh, well, look at the eye. Alright, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I've upgraded the look. I had them do the face paint. It cost 100 pesos, which is like five US dollars. And then I tipped her 100 pesos, which is like a 100% tip. Because I tell you guys, when you come to these countries, the cost of living is so low. You can give back to the community here and tip the hard workers because they work hard. They take a lot of pride in their work. I mean, check out these details. Look at this. I look amazing. Yo soy un chico guapo. I am a handsome boy. And what'd you say, Tara? You lost me, but what? I was like, I lost Adam, but I picked up his afterlife spirit. <laughs> yeah, she picked up my, my spirit. Meet my spirit, guys. So I came to this restaurant behind me two years ago. Food here was amazing. And now they're closed. And I'm wondering if this is another COVID victim. It might be. But I really wanted to come to this place because the food here was bomb. And I hope it's not a victim of COVID. I really do. Welcome to Limantur. Bienvenidos a Limantur. 
We are at one of the top rated bars in the entire world. This bar is called Limitor, and it's currently ranked the number 17th best cocktail place in the world. So we wanted to come by and get a cocktail. Drinks are around 160 pesos, which translates to about $8 a drink now. If you're a local here, that might be a little expensive, but as an American, it's not that bad. Adam, we're looking at Pixel. Um, this is rum based, like a 10 year rum. called a habanero which has mango, soda water, I think tequila. Oh my god, that is that is a delightful drink. This is why this bar is ranked number 17th in the world because of cocktails like this. So if you guys are looking for a good cocktail, good vibes, cute waitresses, come on down to Mexico City and come to Limitor. You won't regret it. Mexican old-fashioned, kind of like me. It's an old-fashioned Mexican drinking a Mexican old-fashioned. What's the difference that makes it a Mexican old-fashioned? I think they use tequila instead of uh, whiskey or bourbon or whatever it is. Right. That's good. She's got a black cat with the bat wings on. So cute. This is called privilege. Four iPhones, two people. All working. Privilege. All working. And not iPhone sixes, but you know, new generations, most current, eleven. Adam and I skip every generation, so we do like eleven, thirteen, next week fifteen. But two working phones. You only have it, you only have half my privilege. Yeah. Right? Half of it. And I have uh I only have transracial white privilege. Tap the screen, tap the screen. If you're gonna do it, commit. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Hanukkah, I mean Halloween. Happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah's not for a few more months. If you're with Adam, every day is Hanukkah. That's right, when you're with me, every day is Hanukkah. Cheers, fellow patriots. And, uh, we got some breaking news for you guys. Jen Psaki, who is double vaccinated, just tested positive for COVID. I'm not going to add any more commentary. I'm just going to tell you that. <sighs> yep. I hope she recovers. I wish her well. But she was double vaccinated and got COVID. Facts are facts. There's nothing to fact check here. Is what it is. Be free, my sheeple.